If you've been with me a while, you know that sugar is a no-no and that most artificial sweeteners are practically poison. But what's the story with honey? Well, I'm going to share the buzz about honey in just a moment. But first, I've got a question for you. Are there any health-related topics you've been dying to know more about? Maybe an ingredient you're curious about or a diet trend that seems a little suspect. That's why I'm here. Whatever you're curious about, go ahead and leave a comment right here on this video. My team is always keeping an eye on the comments to make sure we can answer your questions. So go ahead, ask me anything. But for now, let me get back to today's question. Dr. Gundry, what's the story about honey? Well, there's a simple answer and a complicated one. The simple answer is honey is sugar. And as you probably heard by now, sugar is incredibly dangerous to your health. In fact, it's one of the most poisonous things you can put in your mouth, no matter where it comes from. Yep, whether it's cane-based, maple-based, corn-based, or made by bees, sugar is terrible for your health. Even fruit sugar is problematic, which is why I only suggest eating fruit in season and in moderation. Which is why it kind of surprises me that even though honey is famously a type of sugar, so many people ask me about it each day. Or worse, keep using it even when the rest of their diet plan is plant paradox perfect. I guess it's because it's got such a healthy reputation. I mean, it's made by bees and it's been used in natural remedies for years. And I'll be honest, it's not 100% on the no list. Though if you must eat honey, I encourage you to eat less than one teaspoon of honey a day and make it Manuka honey or raw local honey if possible. Why? Well, out of all the varieties of honey out there, Manuka honey has the most potent antibacterial properties. That's why it's actually used topically in wound healing. It's actually been approved by the FDA. It's also got potential for keeping your mouth healthy. Again, that's thanks to those antibacterial properties. And it's great for easing sore throats, too. So, if you must eat honey, do it when you're feeling under the weather. And again, just a teaspoon a day max. Now, if you can't find Manuka honey at your local store, or if it's a little bit out of your price range, that's okay. It's not the only option out there. Raw local honey shows potential in helping people deal with pollen allergies. Just find honey made within a few miles of you. If one of your neighbors has a beehive, that's perfect. And if you're suffering from serious allergy issues, your best bet is always seeing an allergist. Honey isn't a magic fix all by itself, but it could help. Plus, like I mentioned, it could help soothe a sore, itchy throat too. And allergy sufferers know what a big deal that is. The honey you find will not only support your health during allergy season, but it will still have antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. Just not as potent as Manuka honey. Plus, it's got some great antioxidants in it to support your health from all angles. In fact, the antioxidants in honey have been linked to everything from heart and lung health to immune system function. But honestly, there are other ways to get those benefits too. So treat honey like a special treat or, or even a medicine and don't use it every day. Just a teaspoon a day is plenty. And I suggest going with way less than that. And if you're shopping for honey in the store, read your labels carefully. Go for 100% Manuka honey when possible. Just be aware the price point is pretty high. I've seen little jars of it for about 20 bucks a piece. So if you see it at a very reasonable price point, read the label extra carefully before seriously stocking up. And make sure it's pure Manuka, not a blend. And certainly not honey cut with corn syrup. Food labeling is tricky. That happens. The same goes for raw local honey. Get it from a neighbor or read the label carefully to make sure it's raw and local. You can check out your local farmer's market, too. One of the farmers may have some honey for sale. Oh, and one other thing. If your doctor says you or a member of your family shouldn't eat honey, 
don't use this video as an excuse to do it anyway. And certainly don't give honey to infants. But other than that, even though honey is sugar, raw local honey or Manuka honey are on the yes list, provided you keep it in moderation, less than a teaspoon a day max. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thank you.